How a bloodline is made. The development of the bloodline started in year 2000. The blacklist started with a cross between a seven-time winner five-year-old Richard Bates Black and an equally aging blue face hen. Then pullets out of this mating were mated to a succession of broodcocks, and their offspring underwent crossing and recrossing to find the right combination. For some years no mating resulted in a generation worthy to be set as a bloodline. RBS continued scouting for a good black line. Opportunity came in 2005, when Jesse Ledesma won the Pugba Stag Derby. His last fight was a black bonanza stag that clinched him the championship. In spectacular fastest kill fashion. Through the intercession of a friend. And cocking buddy Raul Ibio, who was at the derby. RBS managed to acquire said champion stag. This stag was inserted into the Black Liz program. The result was satisfactory so the setting of the bloodline began. For five years continuous inbreeding was done. The half bonanzas were the first blacklist and became the foundation. As well as the composition of the blacklist for some generations. Somewhere along the way the Agira Grey was infused to the blacklist. This accounted for the silver black grey version of the blacklist. Called Midnight Grey. Another bloodline infused to the blacklist was the blue face that came from Jason Garces. In 2013 and 2014 two other variants of the blacklist were introduced. The Peruvian's which is blend of blacklist and Peruvian. And the Shuffler blacklist blend of blacklist and the DW Shuffler. Also in 2013, a stag that won twice was made a brood stag. And founded the Lindell Blacklist line. The stag was called Lindell because its second win was on the day Cebu was rocked by a strong earthquake. The Blacklist was consistently making good in the circuits we and our friends and clients were participating. Despite this, we came up with improved versions of the Blacklist. We adhered to our principle to fix bloodlines even before they're broke. A more recent infusion aside from the Doyle Watson Shuffler is the Art Lopez Gray. Every time we infuse, we always place more consideration on the mandatory traits in the Cox side. Our infusions are always toward cut and gameness. We let our Black Liz hens take care of the essential wild type fighting traits. We are aiming for progressive breeding. We try to make every generation of the Black Liz better than the previous. After the initial setbacks, during the early stages of its development, the Black Liz has been improving fast since 2016. It was also at about this time that we began studying a little science of breeding and genetics to complement our practical knowledge of the game fowl.